Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this three by three square and we want to construct a magic square such that the sum of these rows, this row must be equal to 33, this row again must be equal to 33 as well, and likewise this one must be 33. That means all rows must be equal to 33. And likewise on these columns, they must add up to 33 as well. All of them. All right. So that means sum of all columns must be equal to 33. And furthermore, the sum of this main diagonal must be equal to 33 as well as well as this minor diagonal must be equal to 33. That means sum of all these diagonals must be 33 as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And at the beginning, I will go slow to make sure that all steps are being understood. And now our task is to replace all these question marks by appropriate number such that when we add those rows and columns, we must have equal to 33. So now let's get started with just this one number, which is seven given to us. And I will show you a super easy way to construct any three by three magic square in just a few seconds. And now I will show you few rules that we are going to follow to construct this magic square. And here's our very first rule. We will always go in this diagonal direction to the top right. That means we are right up here. We're gonna go right here in this diagonal way. And we know there's a no box over here. Then uh, we're gonna just move this way. It's going to be like a this way. Okay. So let's pretend that this box is attached to this one. So this number is going to show up right up here. Therefore, the number that comes after seven is eight is going to show up at this box. And now once again, we are going to go from this one diagonally, we're going to move to this one. So the number over here is going to show up nine because nine is after eight and now we know there's a no box over here so that means let's pretend that this box is connected to this box so that means this number is going to shift right up here so this is going to become nine and now we want to go from nine in a diagonal way and we're going to move over here but there's a problem the number is already here so in this case in this kind of scenario, we are going to follow this next rule. If uh, the box has already a number like in this kind of scenario, then we are going to move downward. So that means whenever we have uh, this kind of scenario, we are going to move downward. So the after nine is going to be 10 over here. And now let's follow the rule again. We are going to go diagonally after 10 is going to be 11. Once again, we're gonna go diagonally. We are going to end up with the 12 over here. And here comes our next rule. In this kind of scenario, when we end up in this top right corner, then instead of going diagonally, we are going to move downward always whenever we are in this kind of spot the, this corner so the number is going to be this time is going to be 13 and now 13 we're going to go diagonally to this spot over here and since there's a no a box over here so we're going to pretend and we're going to move to this one so after 13 this 14 is going to show up right up here now once again we're going to go diagonally and we're going to end up over here this number is going to be 15 and let's pretend that this box is connected to this box so that means this number is going to become 15 and thus here's our solved magic square with all the answers you can see 
Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.